Yale pilot jack won't correctly work. Check the charge system. Ch charge system's okay. Customer complaints and won't drive. Turn it on. Try to make it move. Will barely, barely moves. Try to make it pick up. Contactor just hits. Uh, gotta check the batteries. This is the main contactor. Test light, test battery voltage. It's only at 8.2. So either the contactor is bad or I got some bad batteries somewhere because it's supposed to be getting full voltage going across. Okay, so that pallet jack I just showed you. Uh, and I after after I ended checking all the connections and looking at bolts, I had the right bolts everywhere I needed. Uh, it was either going to be the main contactor or the batteries and it's easier way easier to test the batteries than the contactor so you gotta disconnect all the batteries and one by one test them because they're only uh, four six volt batteries in series giving the pallet jack a total of 22 volts 24 uh, well, what happened was that just one of the cores went bad on the batteries so that bad cord caused the whole pallet jack to act if the contactor was messed up but in reality it was just only the one bad core on the battery so in a couple of minutes I'm gonna well for y'all a couple of seconds I'm gonna show y'all how to correctly test a battery standalone battery this is not the battery that came, that came off the pallet jack the customer is gonna replace their, their own battery because it's more cheaper for them than to pay me but it's just one bad battery that can cause that whole issue with that pallet jack to act like that. Have a good day.